Okay, so today I thought I'd tell you about um, my zero water, which is what I use for my water system at home. It's uh, kind of easy to use. It's similar to a Brita, and I find it pretty good, and so I thought I'd do a little experiment today, and um, let's begin. So the one good thing about the zero water, well, first of all, let's back up. Here is a filter. It's a two-pack, and so while they're a little bit more pricey than, let's say, a Brita, and there is a way to sort of make them last even longer than what they're advertised for, there's a little trick, and so I'll, I'll try and explain that after I'm done this video. Um, but if you buy two of them in a pack, this is from Walmart, they work out to about 15 bucks each or 16 bucks each. You know, if you buy one, it's probably $18.99, but if you buy two, it's 30 bucks. So, I just, I don't do that trick to make them last longer, but I could easily, but I prefer to have the refrigerator space, and I'll explain why later. Well, you know what, I could open this up. These things are pretty massive. There's a, a spare one. They're huge, and they're heavy, and you don't need to sort of get them wet, or soak them, or run, runs through them with water, like the Brita. So that's a replacement filter. And this is the, the unit. It was bigger than the biggest Brita. I think the Brita was 18 cup, and this was maybe 23 cup or something like that. So it's a lot slower when it percolates through. But here's the thing that I was gonna show today. And this is a little tester that tests parts per million. And I've already got it turned on because I had it on just now for focus purposes. So um, it tests the parts per million in water. So I have a couple samples of water here to test. So the first one to test today is what comes out of my tap. This is my tap water. And it's not treated, it's just from a, a well, a drilled well. So. Here we go. You can see that it says zero. Sorry, I should predict what uh, what they're going to be. In in the past, this has been about 220 when I've tried it, and you have to hold hold here. Hold it says 209. Doing that. Okay, so I'll turn it off. I'll shake it off here a little bit. And I'll turn it back on. And it'll say zero. Now, this is town water, the second one. Reading, so my little town, uh, the, the, the bigger town near my little town, gets this stuff and from a lake and treats it. And then my little town buys it and puts it puts it in some reservoirs, and I go and pump it into 18 liter jugs at my transfer station. And in the past, this has been about 70 to 80 parts per million. So this was 2 220, but today it was 209. And this is oh sorry, this is usually about uh, 70 to 80. So we'll see here. Sixty-three. So that's what people in my nearest city drink, the municipality. And that's what people in my township would be drinking that acquire it through that way. So turn off and shake it. Now this is Aquafina water and the reason I chose this is because it says demineralized treated water, and then somewhere it says, oh yeah, by reverse osmosis. So it's demineralized by reverse osmosis. Now, I used to buy reverse osmosis, and like buy the 18 liter jugs all the time. And first of all, I found it sucked sort of the minerals out of me. But I did this test with it, and it was between nine parts per million and seven parts per million. So this is Aquafina water. So what I'm trying to say is 
my prediction for this is reverse osmosis is under 10. Turn that on, zero. Drop it in there. Isn't that interesting? So it's also completely zero. I wonder if they use this on the industrial scale. So Aquafina, okay, so the reverse osmosis that I bought had a little bit of contamination in it. Six or seven up to nine, I think was the, this is Avion, natural spring water. So my guess is you'll see about 240, something like that. It's at zero. Two eighty one. So you're getting lots of minerals and dissolved solvents naturally through Avion. And my guess is the same happens for Fiji. I'm gonna guess 240 again, since that's what I think a mineral water is. And this is natural spring water again. Oh, not much. Which is probably why it tastes so light, actually. Oh, I just messed it up. Reset that. You have to hold, in order for me to show it to the camera, you have to hold this hold button. I normally wouldn't use this. One thirty-two. One thirty-two. Okay, so. Now, what I do is I could take my tap water at 212. Oh, I could take my tap water at 212 and pour it into the this thing and then this would make it zero water. So there'll be, no, there'll be nothing in it. Or I could take the municipal water, which has 64 parts per million, and put it in here, which would make my filter work less hard because there's less total solvents to, or to filter out. So that's what I do. I put in um, the municipal water into here. So you just have to believe that that happens. And so I'm gonna pour it. Let's see if we can move it down here a little bit. So this is township water. And it should also test at zero. Or it could test at maybe um, zero, zero 0.01. It says you're supposed to change it at zero, zero 0.06, I think. And so that's what I changed that before. Okay, so zero. You can see it's still at zero. But what I find is that it sort of drains your body and it doesn't feel good. So I'm just gonna pour this out very quickly. So that was zero water. But now what I'm gonna do is take this same stuff here and put it in my soda stream. Uh, just a bottle, this is just a bottle. That's all I'm using it for. And so now I've got a, a full thing of zero water. 
So if you were to test it, it reads zero. But then what I do, is I take this stuff called concentrates and it's your trace minerals and it's all naturally de derived from I think salt Great Lake salt inland Utah's Great Lake salt inland seawater anyways and so I've usually had the uh, 500 ml soda stream but I threw them out recently so I bought the one liter so I put six in for 500 mil, so I put 10 in for the liter for no reason. So let's count. There's 10. And I don't know if it catches on the camera, but you can actually see it going in. And so we'll just give that a little stir. And this is what I drink. And my guess is it's around 200 uh, parts per million. Turn this off just to be official about it. Turn it on again. It should be about 200. Uh, 258. So there you go. That's what I wanted to show. That's how I drink my water. I take zero water from there on the right and put it into Britis. And then I remineralize through this natural way. And these things last, you know, maybe three months. And they cost 15 bucks each. So not too bad. Anyways, I'll explain right now how to do that little savings tip.